Mr. Secretary. Yes, sir. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you, Prime Minister. <clears throat> this is a, a genuine pleasure to welcome uh, Secretary Mattis to Israel. I've heard a lot about him, read a lot about him, uh, and I, I think this is a, a propitious um, moment. Uh, Israel has no better friend than America. America has no better friend than Israel. And this is a, a, a partnership based on common values in the deepest sense of the word. Uh, we sense uh, a great change in the direction of American policy. Uh, we noted the very clear and forthright words, uh, Mr. Secretary, that you had to say about Iran. This follows very strong and forthright words on the part of uh, President Trump and very forthright deeds against uh, the use of chemical weapons by Iran's proxy, Syria. This has been appreciated uh, around the world and in our region. I think this is a welcome change, a strategic change uh, of American leadership and American policy. We have uh, common values and also common dangers. The common dangers are based on the twin threats of uh, militant Islam, the Shiite uh, extremists led by Iran, the Sunni extremists led by Daesh. We are committed to thwarting these dangers uh, as we are committed to seize the common opportunities and great opportunities uh, that I think are before us, Mr. Secretary, because of the understanding of our, many of our Arab neighbors uh, as to the commonality of the threat, but also as to the opportunities of the future. And I look forward to discussing with our, the Secretary of defense of our great American ally, how we thwart the dangers and how we seize the opportunities together. So welcome to Jerusalem. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Prime Minister. It's an honor to be here uh, in Israel, our longtime friend and ally in the region. Uh, the two dangers that face uh, Israel and all of the other nations in the region that are trying to maintain a stable and peaceful and prosperous region are those that I'm here to discuss uh, with the Prime Minister, especially the week before Holocaust Remembrance. Uh, I think it's important that we remind ourselves that if good people don't band together, then bad people can do a lot of damage in this world. And uh, we're committed to stopping that and doing whatever it takes to pass on peace and freedom to the next generation. So thank you very much, Mr. Prime Minister. It's a privilege to be here with you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. We shake hands and we look at each other. Now you want us to shake hands and look okay. there. Okay. How's this? <laughs> Thank you. Did we do it right? Yeah. All right. Thanks.